Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Today I'm gonna teach you guys finally the video you guys requesting is how I sample or how to sample. Uh, I'm gonna show you my way of sampling. I know there's plenty of ways to sample out there. You can do it with Fruity Slice X, you can do it with the slicer, you can do it in the playlist. I'm gonna be using Edison, that's my way of doing it. And like I said, there's so many ways to sample, it just depends on which way is best for you because I do have a beat breakdown coming up that involves a sample type beat. So I thought, why don't I show you guys how to sample first before I break down the beat. So uh, I'm gonna be using a Kingsway sample. Um, they're probably, you know, if you want royalty free, dope ass samples, that's probably the best place to go. Um, that's, I'm not really a sample digger, but you know, I might make a video on how I find samples. You know, you guys might not find something better than me. So it is what it is on that note. So, you know, just find a sample and work with it. So uh, this is what the sample is. It's a royalty free sample from Kingsway. Definitely check them out. Dope as fuck. I think the the Luxury Music Volume 7. Can't remember which one it was. I bought a bunch of them from them. So I just grabbed one and rock with it. So you get the gist. So how I find a sample is I try to get at least a eight bar loop. That's my my way of going about sampling. You can do more, you can do less, but I like to try to get a perfect eight bar loop. So what I first do is I like to make sure that my uh, if I go up here and I make I like to make sure that my snapping is on zero crossing or just hit the four button number four. Um, that's what I like to do. I think it's better for me. It just helps me get a tighter sample and tighter loop. So I like to have that on. And then I just like to count. So I'll count to eight. That's one thing that I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll loop that. And if it sounds, then I'll use that as a sample. Or I might go to 16. Just depending on either go to eight or 16. That's my philosophy when it comes to sampling. That just sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and play and I'll start counting. So two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna take this right here, this little section, and I'm gonna loop it to make sure it's perfect. Okay, so it's, it's not perfect, but we can definitely, you know, zoom in. You wanna zoom in and get, it just gets close as you can to it. The thing I like about zero crossing is as you drag it, it kind of snaps to stuff. So, you know, probably snap to, It'll just snap and that might, you know, be it. So we'll go to here, zoom out, then we'll go to the beginning. And then we'll zoom into the beginning and, you know, get to where it comes right on there. So let's see how that sounds. I mean, it's not, a, it's not a bad loop, it's, it's pretty straight. So then what I do is I take another Edison and I just take this little arrow right here, drag it into the second Edison. And the second Edison be kind of my clean up Edison. Might just clean up some of that gunk. I'll set my tempo next, so we'll probably do like, a, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We'll do like a 86 beat, beat, BPM. Um, we'll go to edit properties. We'll beat match it. So all you gotta do is want to do that. You go to the little right here where you can change your bit resolution and stereo mono. Uh, we'll go to edit properties. Go to tempo sync, and it'll be eighty six. So it's tempo sync it, and then I will drag it into the playlist. <clears throat> there we go. Now my audio file. Now what I like to do is like the right. Oh crap, wrong button. I like to double click, and I go to timing, and I go to four bars. And see how that sounds. So we'll switch over. And 
And there you go, a guy loop. And then what I like to do is turn on stretching. So if you go to the audio side, turn off Z crossing and just have it on stretching. And you can stretch it out if you want to make it slower. So. But that sounds like shit, but sometimes it works depending on what the loop is and the BPM as well. So, so we're doing 86. We like to go to, let's see, next I will go to mess with the pitch a little bit. And it will just kind of pitch it down a little bit. And then at that point, I can just go and start adding my drums to, you know, just doing some so I'll just go here. Make me a little pattern. Let's add some drums real quick. Kind of show you, you know, this is my process. Let's say, let's just play the beat while I'm looking for drums. Here we go, basic little beat. And there you go, a simple way to sample, easy, fast, really snappy. Um, like I said, you can go more in depth, you can go back into Edison, grab different parts of the song, grab more parts of course, and you know, put more chops in here and all that, switch it up, reverse it process it you know all that good stuff but that's just a quick way of how i get my samples and how i loop them so i can you know start pretty much building the beat the way i want to so um hope you guys enjoy it i know it's been long i know it's been a while you guys are asking about this sampling video but sorry it took so long to do and sorry i wasn't so good at sampling it in the past i'm just getting okay at it now so yeah so that being said hope you guys enjoy like always you know it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like comments guys and views and with that being said i will catch you guys in the next video have a good one everybody